Do you enjoy working with pattern paper? Do you like to create a variety of coordinating cards? If so, then I have a challenge for you. Hello and welcome. This is Kendra with Cards by Kendra and it is time for a new card making challenge. Kendra's card challenge number 16. This is a quarterly card making challenge where you can create 15 cards using six sheets of six inch by six inch pattern paper. It's like a one sheet wonder times six. If you're not familiar with a one sheet wonder, it's a way to cut a sheet of paper efficiently so that you have little to no scraps and then you turn those pattern paper pieces into cards. Of course, you'll need additional card stock and supplies, but for this challenge, you can create 15 American A2 size cards and have a chance to win a lot of prizes by sharing your cards throughout the quarter. This challenge runs from October 1st through December 31st of 2024, and there are 19 company prize sponsors this quarter with over $1,000 worth of prizes that will be given away. I'll share details on the prizes and how to enter the challenge in just a bit. So the way this works is you'll start by picking out six coordinating pattern papers for each of the six cutting templates and assign them to the color-coded papers A through F on the printable that I provide for free over on my Patreon page. The cutting templates are for six inch by six inch paper. And if you use double-sided paper, that's even better because you'll have more options in case you don't like two of the patterns together. You can just use the other side. You'll wanna grab some envelopes or sleeves or some other way to organize the pieces as you cut them. I like to use cellophane bags and I number them for each of the 15 card sketches. Now on the printable, there are circled numbers on each of the pieces and this lets you know which card sketch that that piece goes with. There are also arrows that show the direction that the piece faces when it's on the card. And for this challenge, you'll notice that all of the papers have arrows pointing in different directions. So it's best to use patterns that are non-directional, meaning that it doesn't matter which way you turn the paper. If you want to use a directional pattern, you may have to rotate the card sketch to have it face the right way. Some of the arrows are at a diagonal, so keep that in mind when picking out your papers. Each of the pieces have measurements, and it also has a pair of scissors, which shows where to make your first cut. You will cut the papers using the cutting templates and sort the pieces for each of the 15 card sketches. Once you have those cut, you'll need to take a look at each of the sketches and select some matching colored cardstock for any that call for layers. The pattern paper pieces are color coded and then the rest of the elements on the sketch are either gray, black, or white, and you can use any colors you'd like. I like to use coordinating cardstock that I can use not only for my layers, but also for my card bases. So you'll cut and sort the layers and the card bases for each of the cards, and then you can decide how you want to decorate them using stamps, dies, ephemera, or embellishments, really anything that you'd like, and then you just assemble the cards. This challenge is a great way to use up those pattern paper pads and get a set of coordinating cards in the process. I'd like to point out that many of the shapes in this quarter's challenge are shapes that can be cut with the Card Cut Essentials die bundle one and two, which are metal cutting dies that I designed that allow you to cut a sheet of six by six paper with one pass through your die cutting machine. It also includes additional separate dies in many different shapes. Now the cutting guides are not the same as the Card Cut Essentials dies, but you can use the pieces that are cut from them on many of these sketches. Now these dies are available for purchase at Pink and Main, and I'll have these linked in the description box below if you're interested in purchasing them. Now I have some important information to share in this video, so please make sure to listen to the details on how to officially enter the challenge to be eligible to win prizes. I'll be sharing that shortly. Now, if you don't like cutting the papers with a paper trimmer or if you struggle with measurements and you have a Cricut Silhouette or Brother Scan and Cut electric die cutting machine, there are SVGs and cutting files available for purchase over in my Patreon shop. There's also a video with instructions and this month there are additional cutting files for the layers that you can use with the Brother Scan and Cut. I'll have the link directly to the post with the download also in the description box. Now I know this quarter is a very busy time for most of us with the holidays coming up. So if you don't have a lot of time to create cards, you can just make your favorite sketches and enter the individual sketch challenges, which I'll explain more shortly. One great thing about this challenge is that the sketches are really just meant to be a starting point to get your creative juices flowing. 
You don't have to follow the sketches exactly as they are. You can put your own creative spin on them. But in order to be eligible to win prizes for the challenge, you will need to make a set of 15 cards. You can make a different set of cards for each month throughout the quarter. So you can enter a maximum of three times. You can also enter the individual sketch cards into the sketch albums if you only want to make one card or just a few. And these are separate prizes and you can enter these as many times as you'd like. Below sketches 13, 14, and 15 on the printable, you will find instructions similar to what I've just mentioned. But I would love it if you would share your creations on social media using the hashtags Kendra's Card Challenge 16 and KCC16. This way we can all get additional ideas and see your work. And you may even be featured in my weekly member spotlight post on my Patreon page. And I also like to share things on Instagram to my stories. On the last page of the printable, this shows the list of all of our amazing prize sponsors with links to their online stores. You can click on these links if you have this pulled up on a computer. All of these companies have donated prizes and you can have a chance to win these prizes by participating in the challenge, either monthly or quarterly. Now, some prizes are given away monthly and some are quarterly. For a complete list of prizes you can win, visit kendrascardchallenges.com and click on the Sponsors tab. The companies with stars next to them are super sponsors. And what that means is that they not only donated a prize, but they have also donated some supplies to the Kendra's Card Challenges design team for them to use to create projects so that you can see some card making inspiration using the Challenge 16 sketches using their products. So throughout the quarter, you'll be able to watch the videos and the hops on both YouTube and Instagram and have more chances to win prizes. So there's lots of prizes to be won for not only playing along, but also participating in our hops by watching the videos by the talented designers. In order to download the free printable, you will need to head over to my Patreon page that I have linked in the description box below and then join as a free member. In order to do that, you just need to enter your email address. Once you're a member, you will find the post with the link to the PDF file pinned at the top of the Patreon page. This challenge is free to download during the contest dates. Now, if you'd like to receive extra perks and benefits, you can upgrade to either a KCC supporter, official, all access, or VIP paid member. The left side of the last page has a quick reference guide, which is a chart to show what papers are matched with others for each of the card sketches. And this will help when choosing your papers so you'll know what needs to be coordinated. On the right side of this last page, the table outlines what you get as a paid member of my Patreon membership program. These challenges do take a lot of time to create, so joining as a paid patron is a way to help support what I offer the crafty community. Patrons help to keep the challenges free each quarter. You can become a supporter for as low as $2 a month. At the $5 tier, you can receive access to a printer-friendly version of the challenge, access to a year's worth of archived previous challenges, and bonus printables, which are digital downloads that include digital card making kits, digital sentiments, fun fold card tutorials, and more. And then for $10, as an all-access patron, you can receive everything I've already mentioned, plus early access to new card challenges, access to the past two years' previous card challenges and bonus printables, and a mystery card making kit sampler, which is an envelope filled with paper, cardstock, and die cuts or sentiments where you can make one to three card fronts, and these are mailed out each month. They're a lot of fun, and you'll get to sample products from some of our amazing prize sponsors and some other brands. And then for $25, VIP patrons receive additional benefits on top of what's already been mentioned. And these include a handmade card from me each month, a full-size mystery card making kit, which includes enough supplies to make 15 or more card fronts, access to additional video tutorials, and a crafty live stream session each quarter. There are also monthly prize drawings and an exclusive Facebook group for all access and VIP patrons where you can enter to win additional prizes for creating with the mystery card kits. For more information about my Patreon, you can scan the QR code on the printable or visit patreon.com forward slash Kendra's card challenges. And I'll also have this linked in the description box below. Now, while I explain how to enter the challenge for a chance to win some amazing prizes, I'll show you the first set of cards that I made with these sketches. To enter the challenge, you'll first want to join the Kendra's Card Challenges Facebook group. 
After creating your set of cards, you'll want to upload one photo containing all 15 cards into the official entry photo album for the month. You will need to include your country of residence in the photo caption since some of the prizes have to be shipped and will only be available to those who live in the United States. But most of the prizes are gift certificates and can be won by anyone worldwide. Please double check to make sure that your country is included after you upload because sometimes Facebook can be glitchy and it won't save it. But you can enter once per month, so up to three times per quarter. And if you're not on Facebook, you can upload your photo of all 15 cards to the form on my website at kendrascardchallenges.com. And this is located under the help section. There are also individual sketch photo albums where you can upload single photos of each of your cards so that we can see them up close. And this will also enter you to win one of the 15 sketch prizes. The first five sketch winners will be announced after the first month ends. Sketches 6 through 10 after the second month ends, and then sketches 11 through 15 after the quarter ends. You can enter as many times as you'd like into the individual sketch albums. And after each month ends, winners for the monthly prizes will be randomly selected from the eligible entries posted to that month's photo album, and it will be announced on my YouTube channel, usually a week or so after the month ends. And then at the end of the quarter, the quarterly prizes will be drawn from the entries from all three albums. The details for how to enter the challenge can also be found in the Facebook group under the featured posts that are pinned at the top of the group. I link the current month's photo albums in this post if you're having trouble finding the albums on Facebook. But please make sure that you upload your photo into the album and not to the comments section. If you have any questions about anything at all, please don't hesitate to ask in the Facebook group or over on Patreon. We have a wonderful community of crafters from beginners to seasoned car makers, and we're all here to help and hopefully inspire you to make your own beautiful creations. I will be uploading some helpful videos over on my Patreon page, including how to cut the papers, so make sure you have your Patreon email notification settings turned on so that you'll know when I post. Plus, I will be sharing weekly card making inspiration and additional tutorial videos throughout the quarter by our talented design team members. I'd now like to introduce the color palette challenge for October 2024. These color palettes are by Sarah Renee Clark, and she gave us permission to use these for the monthly color challenges, which is an additional card making challenge separate from the sketch challenge. It's where you can create any project using the colors in the color palette, and then post a photo of it into the color challenge album in my Facebook group for a chance to win a prize. It can be a card, a scrapbook page, journal, really anything that you'd like as long as you use the colors in the palette. And it doesn't have to be a project using one of the sketches from my quarterly sketch challenge. So I hope you'll join us. Now for some events that you don't want to miss. Members of the Kendra's Card Challenge video team and a few guest designers will be having a giveaway video hop that begins October 2nd where we will be showing the card making process for each of the 15 card sketches in this challenge. We have a playlist of videos that you can watch in order and for each stop you can enter the giveaway form for multiple chances to win. For hopping along you'll have a chance to win a goodie bag filled with card making supplies valued at over $250. We are also having an Instagram hop with our Reels designers for another giveaway. I hope you'll hop along with us to get some wonderful ideas and tips for challenge 16 and have multiple chances to win. You definitely don't want to miss this so mark your calendars. And we will also be doing a live stream hop on YouTube on October 6th. I'll be starting the hop at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time with a premiere showcasing the September entries for Challenge 15 and announcing the September and quarterly prize winners, followed by the designers who will be live streaming. There will be a playlist that you can watch all of the streams in order so you can continue hopping along to each team member's channel until all 15 cards have been completed. I hope you'll join us in the live chat and craft along. I will be giving away one of the Card Cut Essentials die bundles to one lucky winner for those who participate in the live chat, as well as some other digital downloads. Make sure you're a subscriber to my channel and turn on those notifications. Now let's talk about the awesome prizes you can win for Kendra's Card Challenge 16. As mentioned before, we have 19 company prize sponsors with prizes valued at more than $1,000. The sponsors for this challenge are shown here along with the prizes you can win. Some prizes are monthly and some prizes are quarterly, so to have more chances to win you could submit a different set of cards each month. 
There are also some additional prizes that I'm donating that you can win, such as mystery card kits, stamps and dies, plus a lot more. Sketch winners will receive a handmade card from me and access to one of my digital downloads. You can see the full list of prizes and what each company has donated over on my website. Now I need to emphasize that for all of the giveaways throughout the challenge, you will need to claim your prizes. Don't miss the winner's announcement videos to see if you're a winner. I post in the Facebook group and over on my Patreon page when this will take place each month. If you're participating in YouTube hops, be sure to turn on notifications for my YouTube channel here so that you'll get notified when I post on my community tab because this is where I post all of the hop winners. If it's an Instagram hop, I'll be tagging your account on my post after the hop ends. So be sure to check your notifications on both YouTube and Instagram. Remember you have until December 31st of 2024 to create your cards and get them posted to the Kendra's Card Challenges Facebook group or uploaded to the form. If you're watching this video after December 31st, you can download the archived printables through my Patreon page as a paid patron member or you can purchase them individually under the Collections tab. These are linked at the bottom of my website homepage at kendrascardchallenges.com. Now I'd like to take a moment to thank all of the Kendra's Card Challenges patrons that are shown here. I really appreciate your support. You don't know how much it means to me. This is such an awesome group of crafters, and I'm so grateful to have you as part of the Kendra's Card Challenges family. I really hope you'll join us on the challenge. If you post your creations on social media platforms, don't forget to use those hashtags so that others can see your creations and be inspired. If you think you might give this challenge a try, leave me a comment. If you're new to my channel, let me know how you found this video or heard about the challenge. I'd also love it if you'd give this video a thumbs up and share this challenge with any of your crafty friends who you think might enjoy it. I hope you will join us on challenge number 16. I appreciate you watching this video. I can't wait to see what you create and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.